Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. So coming up tonight outside, there should be a cold spell. So in preparation for that, I'm harvesting some of the leftover strains in the greenhouse. So let's go head on over there and do that now. Definitely gonna take this little branch of Jack Hare. That's done, nice and dense. Great smell. Always reminds me of Cindy 99, which I think is in the same lineage. And this Clementine, which is this branch here, this low one, and this main one. Man, if you guys are looking for a citrusy strain that's more on the tropical rather than the kind of chemical sour side, more on the fruity side, don't look any further than Clementine or Tangy or any of those in that line. Just like almost an exaggerated tangerine smell. Like yeah, if somebody was like formulating it in the lab for a candy or something like that. Just really, really good. What the heck? Look at this. This w wasp doesn't have a head. <laughs> oh, look at how thin the thorax is on this one. It's thinner than its legs. Anyway, uh, what I actually wanted to show you was another insect as a kind of testimonial to how tropical and fruity this clementine is. There's actually a few fruit flies that came to it and got stuck. You can see one right there. Let me try to zoom in on it. Yeah, you see those red eyes? There's another one in there. I thought I spotted a few more before. Oh yeah, there's a couple on this side. It's so weird, I've never seen that. Just stuck in there like it was fly tape. But I guess uh, the terpenes were a close enough simulation of the fruit that they went for it. They were probably attacking all of the ripe cantaloupe and stuff we had here. So we got a bunch of melons. Most of this came true to full ripeness. I had to basically process them and freeze them. Not sure what I'll do with them, but uh, there's three more of this other variety here. Check out this Japanese black trifle uh, tomato plant. So started all the way over here. Here's the first producing truss down here. And production all the way here. There was a really big one here. You can see that we actually almost got a perfect with this plant. We still have lots of fruit. Most of them are actually ripening on their own. Or will ripen if we take them indoors. And we only have a very small amount of unripe fruit before the season ends, which will be tomorrow night. So that's how you usually want it. What you don't want is, you know, just unripe fruit at the end. I mean, you could take those in and they'll probably ripen up, but it's more or less a waste, I would say. But yeah, nothing to complain about. The tomatoes did great this year. So here's the clementine. Off of that little uh, sampler plant, multi-strain plant out in the greenhouse. One of my favorite strains this year, uh, along with sherbet. Just a perfect fruity, tropical fruit profile in the smell. Um, definite hint of citrus, but... Uh, Closer to a clementine than, you know, more of a sour, lemony, grapefruit type of smell. So I took it down because of this freeze that we have coming. It could have definitely gone for another few weeks easily. You can see plenty of uh, white, light-colored hair still coming out. So new uh, calyxes are still being produced. And, you know... It's pretty loose. It's got some density, but it's just on the earliest stages of really chunking up. But 
just how good it smells and I'm sure how good it'll taste uh, I kind of went ahead and rather than risking it leaving it out I harvested it all and you can see that here so let's take a look at the stuff under the 60x scope all right so you can see on the back of the sugar leaf it's uh, pretty roughly trimmed so it's hard to get into uh, calyx at this point you can see there is a quick a bit of amber and otherwise mostly cloudy I would say but starting to head over to the amber side so you know not a bad thing that we finished it up here Alright, it's the day after our first freeze here in November, and uh, the temperature got down to 30 degrees. And But that was only for a few hours, and the uh, lows from now on are supposed to be in the 40s. You can see uh, the Solnacy here, you know, this pepper is still more or less fine. It's kind of, you know, a little droopy, but... Um, and you can see there are still some living parts on the eggplant. I harvested a bunch of the tomatoes. So the one that's left here. Yeah, I don't see any issues with that that weren't there previously. And the unripe ones. I mean, we'll have to wait a day or two to really see. But you can see some of the fol foliage is still alive too. So I did put some extra protection over this Oregon lemon plant. I harvested all of the clementine that was there except for these two tiny bits and you can see they're perfectly fine. Other than the mite and whatever damage. And same thing with the remainder of this plant. So. I harvested the top colas that you guys saw previously and now this is the stuff that's going to be left for the second and third harvest so I'll really try to push this uh, out as much as I can to get it to ripen up a bit more. The stuff that we took down last night um, you know it still had not a lot but some clear trichomes so I think it could probably go another week at least. Definitely getting a lot more purple on some branches. But otherwise still looking green and healthy overall. And uh, no damage that I can see whatsoever. So I did see some uh, botrytis in this largest top colas so that's gonna be our main enemy so that's why I made the secondary cover pretty open so that we can still have good airflow and I think I'm gonna take it down anyway tonight because the low is gonna be like around 40 degrees all right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. So let's take a look at the stuff under the 60X scope.